gentlemen, what we're going to be doing is a demo on grilling. We've talked about a couple very key important parts on grilling. First of all, your grill's got to be on. Make sure it gets your grill nice and hot. Then what you got to do, you got to brush it. You brush it dry, make sure it's nice and clean, got the grids clean. Then you take a dry cloth. Then you go over it with a dry cloth to pick up some of that residue. And then what we're going to do, you go over it with oil. And what I got over here, I'm going to oil this again. It was oiled before, but what happened was the oil burned off. I'm just going to take a little oil, and I'm just going to go over the grids, just like this. You know, just so that we get a little bit of lubrication to the grill. We're also going to lubricate the product. This is very important too, because that way it prevents them from sticking. Okay, one thing about a grill, you got to remember too, it's a lot of high heat here. So in order to protect your arm is one of the reasons why we got a chef jacket. I like to roll mine down a little bit. So I don't have very much hair as it is. I just don't want to burn it all off. So we just keep it down and keep it uh, comfortable for us. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take a product. I'm going to start off with a steak first. This is a strip loin steak sirloin steak. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to season it, turn this over here, season this one here, a little pepper, okay, a little pepper here. I don't like a lot of pepper, it's too, too hot on the throat. And then what I'm going to do is oil it. I'm going to take an oil, oil fairly generously, okay, and I'm going to take it over and put it on this side here. Okay, then what's going to happen is that I'm going to take it on a grid. Now, we, we talked about putting it on a grid on an angle so you can get the mangled diamond uh, uh, scorch marks in there that gives you a nice, uh, nice appearance. So we're going to put this on an angle. And remember I said you want to match the corner. Corner to corner, corner to corner, that's going to give you an X factor. Now, what you're looking at also is that you're looking at time on the clock primarily. You're looking at 2 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 4 o'clock. You know, that's what you want to look at. So imagine you got a big clock here where you go corner to corner. I'm going to place the steak down. There goes one. There goes the steak down. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start that, and I'm going to start a couple chicken pieces for you. Now, what I got here, I got a French breast, and I got a boneless and skinless breast. Now, I am zone grilling. The, the steak is on a high heat. I'm going to put the chicken on a medium heat. And I'm going to do salmon on a low heat. That way, because it's a different type of protein, they're going to cook a little bit differently. So again, we're going to season one of these, a uh, couple of these chicken breasts, a little salt, a little salt, then we'll do a little pepper, a little pepper, whoops, I have a salt. Let's try pepper this time. Okay, a little pepper, then we're going to oil it. Okay, now remember, on chicken breast, you got a skin side and you got a bone side. So what you want to do, you want to make sure you put the show side down. The show side on the chicken breast, the skin side, or on this type of a breast, boneless and skinless, is what we call the skin side. It's not the bone side, it's the bone side, you want the skin side. So we're going to oil this one up here. You can use olive oil on chicken, you can use a light uh, vegetable oil. Uh, on it, whatever you like to do for an oil is good. Now, let me oil this right here. All right, now we're gonna put this chicken breast down here. And we're gonna put this one down on this one. Again, keep it on an angle. Now, while this steak is going here, it's about ready to be turned, and then we're gonna do a fish. Now, in turning steak, you can use tongs. You don't need a spatula, it's not that delicate. Now when you're turning this, you don't have to take a yoga class. All it is is wax on, wax off in terms of your arm. So what I do is pick it up. Now a lot of people put something on here and they want to play with it. Don't play with it, just let it sit there. And when it cooks, it forms a crust between the rod and the raw product. And when it forms that crust, it releases nice and easy. See? All right? Got a nice color to it. Now I'm going to turn it over 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock or on an angle from corner to corner on this. Now the chicken breast is still working, so I'll put that on. Now let's do a piece of salmon. Now you gotta remember salmon again, you got a skin side, it's your skin side, you can see the darkness of the skin side, all right? And then you got the bone side, which is nice and clean, but it's more of a rounded side. Okay, so always remember, round side, clean side is the bone side. That's gonna be your show side.
It's not like the chicken being the skin side. It's the salmon's going to be skin side. It's not your show side. It's going to be your down side. Okay, so we're going to take one piece of this. Again, we're going to season this up. A little salt. Okay, and we're going to take this, a little pepper. A little pepper. Okay, then we're going to oil this generously because salmon is a totally different product than chicken and beef. And what will happen, all fish is a different protein. It cooks faster, okay, and it also will stick on us. So you want to do this very, very generous with the oil. Now, don't forget, we're going to put the show side down. We're going to put this down 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock, or however that time matches. I don't have a watch with me, okay? So now, the steak is about ready to go. All right, so, if you take a look at the steak, beautiful, all right, got a nice mark on it. Now, you don't have to be concerned with the other side, because this is gonna be your show side, all right? So leave it on that particular side. You can mark it on that side, but you can also take these, and if you're not done enough, you can always finish them in the oven. Okay, let's take a look at the chicken. Chicken can go a little bit longer. Now remember, the chicken's gonna be cooked all the way through, so you wanna go with the lower temperature for your chicken, all right? Now your chicken's just gonna take a little bit longer, all right, because that's a little lower temperature. We can always turn it up a little bit. I would rather, in a lot of cases, I would rather start with the lower temperature and increase it if I have to, because with the chicken and the fish, if it's real high, it's gonna stick and burn before it even starts to cook and then I'm gonna get a nice mark on it. Okay, so let's take a steak. I'm gonna take a steak here and turn it. Now I wanna show you something here once the steak is done. Because the steak is raw, it's very flexible, and it's gonna stick on that, on that grill on the show side much more even than it does on the second side. Because don't forget, when it cooks, it shrinks. When it shrinks, What's going to happen, that protein is going to shrink, the, the fat's going to shrink, muscle tissue is going to shrink up, which is going to give you movement to the steak. And that's why on the second side, you're not going to get a really nice marking to it. Okay, so that's what happens with the steak. That steak is about ready to come off of there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this, uh, <clears throat> put this steak on, on a plate as soon as we can get one here. Now the chicken, you can see the chicken. The chicken's starting to get white on the outside, so that's cooking a little slower than the steak is. The steak, I want a degree of doneness, okay? So we're gonna take the steak. We got a plate here. Now you can see what I was talking about. Because the way that the, the meat shrinks and the fat shrink and the muscle tissue shrink, you're not gonna get a real nice even mark all the way across. So the bottom side doesn't matter. We're gonna serve it this side up, okay, for the steak. Okay, now the chicken can be turned. Okay, nice color on the chicken. We're gonna turn that chicken breast. We're gonna bring that over on the other side. It's a little hotter. We're gonna pick us enough, and we're gonna turn this one, okay? Now, the fish. Do not use tongs for fish. If you use tongs for fish, it's gonna break apart. Okay, so what you wanna do, you wanna use a spatula. This is what we call a pancake spatula or an offset spatula. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna go underneath there. We're gonna just loosen that a little bit. We're going to take it, and then we're going to turn it. Again, you don't have to be yoga classes to, to turn it. Just alternate to turn on it. I didn't turn it because I didn't want it to fall apart on it. So we'll look at it as soon as it goes over on the other side. All right, so now what I'm going to do, we put the chicken over into the hotter end, all right, to get our marking going a little bit nicer. All right, I'm going to turn that over this way. I'm going to turn this over this way. Okay, now, a, a good example in terms of, of marking. This was on a lower heat here. This is a little bit higher heat. Now, if I want to mark that chicken on a very, very high heat, it's going to end up burning rather than browning. You know, so I, I wanted to show you that, but it still looks nice. Still got a nice little mark on it. So we're going to cook this on the other side a little bit just to set it. Now you can always oven finish it. When you do oven finish anything that you take off the grill, always put it on a rack in a, on a pan. Never put the item directly on a pan and put it in the oven to finish it. Because what will happen is that it's going to sit in its own juices and it's going to cook. And sometimes that pan gets too hot and if you've got that item sitting on that pan cooking, 
What will happen is it's going to brown more and that pan will get crispy. You don't want to do that. You want that heat to flow around it to give you nice even cooking on that. So what we're going to do, we're going to let this on just a second longer. We're going to take a look at this salmon. This salmon looks very nice. Well now we're going to take and we're going to turn the salmon. Look at that color. Okay, because I controlled the heat on it, I was able to cook the salmon and I was able to take and make the color exactly the same on my marking. It didn't take long. Periodically, you're going to have to lift it. But like I said, make sure that when you do lift it, it's on there long enough to form that crust between the rod or the grid and also the protein or the product that you are planning to grill. One other thing about a grill, you always use a good heavy metal grill. Always use cast iron or steel. Do not use a stainless steel because a stainless steel doesn't really get that hot and do a good marking for you. We're going to oven finish this. Now, just like I said, we want to get another marking on this here. But just a little bit longer. The salmon should be done. We check the texture of the salmon. Looking good. Now, thermometers. You can run a thermometer through the salmon, but you also got to be careful you don't break it apart. Most of the time it's going to be depending on the texture of the salmon. So let me turn this salmon one more time to get them working on the opposite side. Okay, and then by the time I get to work on the opposite side, another minute or so, the salmon will be done, and we can take it off, and we can enjoy. Oh, the chicken's got a nice mark. In fact, I like this side a little bit better than the first side. Now we got a rack and we got a pan. So again, remember to take your chicken, put your chicken on a rack, put it in the oven to finish. To check your temperature, you may use a thermometer, Put your thermometer through the thick part into the center, and when your thermometer, thermometer reaches about 155, 160, you're good to go. Salmon is done. So what we got, we got a nice, nicely cooked piece of salmon. All right, got a nice, nice color to it, nice marking to it. Now the sauce can go either under or go over it, and we can enjoy that.